The Alienware 17, an impressive new gaming machine from Alienware. In this review, I will go over the hardware options, the ports and slots, the aesthetics, the performance, the 120Hz display option, and a few features, pros, and cons about this laptop. Now, I'll go over all of the hardware options. The options in red are the options that I chose for my Alienware 17. For the processor, you can choose amongst 4th generation Intel Core i7 processors. You can choose the 4700MQ, the 4800MQ, the 4900MQ, and the 4930MX. For the operating system, all choices are 64-bit operating systems. You can choose Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Ultimate, Windows 8, and Windows 8 Pro. For memory, each option is dual-channel DDR3L at 1600 MHz. You can choose 8 GB, 16 GB, or 32 GB. The chipset is an Intel HM87 Express chipset. For the video card, you can choose amongst NVIDIA GeForce GTX 700 series video cards. You can choose the 765M with 2 GB of memory, the 770M with 3 GB of memory, or the 780M with 4 GB of memory. There are three options for the display, and each is 17.3 inches. You can choose the WLED HD Plus 1600 by 900 anti-glare display, the WLED FHD 1920 by 1080 anti-glare display, or the 120 Hz WLED FHD 1920 by 1080 True Life display with 3D bundle. This laptop has a 2.0 speaker configuration powered by Eclipsage. For the hard drive, you can get a 750GB hard drive, or you can get a 750GB hard drive with a 64GB solid-state caching drive, or you can get a 1.5TB RAID 0, and you can also get a 256GB solid-state boot drive with a 750GB hard drive. For the optical drive, you can get a DVD-writable drive, or a Blu-ray readable and DVD-writable drive. For the power, it comes with an 8-cell lithium-ion battery, and either a 180W AC adapter or a 240W AC adapter. The camera is a full HD 2 megapixel camera. For networking, you get a Killer Networks Gigabit Ethernet network interface card. You also get a 5G Wi-Fi Broadcom and Bluetooth 4.0. And here is a list of ports, slots, and chassis information, which I'll go over a little bit more later. Now that we've gone over all the hardware options, let's take a quick look around the computer. Here's the front. On the front are the laptop's two speakers. The back has the exhaust vents. Here is the left side. The left side has the power port, the HDMI port, the display port, two USB 3.0 ports, one of which has PowerShare technology, which allows you to charge USB devices while the computer is turned off, a microphone port, and two audio out ports, one of which is compatible with a microphone headset. The right side has the slot loading optical drive, the SD card slot, two USB ports, and the Ethernet port. On to the aesthetics. How aesthetically pleasing can a laptop possibly be? The Alienware 17 definitely takes the cake on this one. And the lights on this thing. What other laptop can I put on a Lazy Susan in a dark room and then spin it and videotape it and have it look this cool? The lighting features on this laptop are incredible. There are 10 different places that you can change the color of, and you can select from 19 different colors or off. And four of these places are in the keyboard, so you can make the keyboard four different colors at the same time. You can also make the lights morph between different colors, pulse on and off, and loop through multiple colors. Aside from the lights, the laptop has a matte black finish, except for the back of the screen and the border around the bottom. The back of the screen is brushed aluminum, and a piece on the bottom is also brushed aluminum, but everywhere else the laptop has a plastic finish. Performance. This laptop's performance will vary, of course, depending on what hardware you choose. I chose the i7-4800MQ processor and the NVIDIA GTX 780M graphics card. The hardware choices that I made built me a very good gaming computer. I also chose the 120Hz display, which allows me to get 120 frames per second in games and to actually be viewing the game at 120 frames per second, instead of the standard 60 frames per second. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I play in full HD with anti-aliasing set to two times at 120 frames per second, and this laptop does not miss a beat. You can see from these screenshots the detail that I am seeing in-game, and it is being refreshed at this exact resolution 120 times per second. It's the same in Call of Duty Black Ops, full HD, two times anti-aliasing, 120 frames per second, and the computer plays it so smoothly it's incredible. 
Other than gaming, this laptop is excellent at running programs such as computer-assisted drawing and video editing. For both editing and rendering, this laptop takes video editing to a whole new level as it is now so easy and fast. With the 4th generation i7 processor, the 120Hz display, and the 780M graphics card, these programs run incredibly smoothly. The 120Hz display. I really, really like the 120Hz display. It was absolutely worth the extra money. The 120Hz display really makes this laptop appear faster than any computer I've ever used before. I'm using Windows 8, which has several animations as you switch between apps and the home screen, and those animations appear smoother with the 120Hz refresh rate. Also, the higher refresh rate makes using video editors and CAD programs more enjoyable, and it prevents you from losing your mouse. And, most importantly, it allows you to see the smoothness of 120 frames per second when you play video games at 120 frames per second, as you will actually be seeing a new picture every 120th of a second. This display also enables 3D capabilities, which is pretty cool, but I think a lot of people don't have a use for this yet. So, overall, everything you do on your computer will appear a bit faster than it would on a 60Hz screen. And, I really never noticed that 60Hz screens were slightly slow, but I do now that I have this laptop with a 120Hz screen, and I don't want to ever go back. Now it's time for a few pros and cons. One thing I noticed about this laptop that I like is the SD card slot. At first I thought this was the button to eject the CD from the optical drive, but when I pressed it, I got the dust cover for the SD card slot instead. What I like about the SD card slot is that when you put your SD card in, it sticks out just enough that you can press it in and get it back out without having to stick your fingernail in the slot, which I had to do with my old laptop. Another thing I like is the optical drive. This optical drive is slot loading, so only the CD goes in and out, which is a very nice feature. But what I really like about this drive is the cool noises it makes when you put a CD in or take a CD out. Another thing that I like about this laptop is its awesome vents. This laptop has two vents on the back and there are two heat sinks and fans. The bottom also has a lot of ventilation holes. Another thing I want to comment on is the touchpad. The touchpad is pretty cool because when you touch it, it lights up, and when you take your finger off, the light turns off. You can set it to stay on in the BIOS settings. But one thing I don't like about the touchpad is that my fingers stick when they aren't dry. It's still usable, but it's noticeably better on a dry day. So if you have dry hands, you won't notice. And a super useful feature that is included in this laptop is the HDMI input feature. This allows you to use HDMI devices such as Xbox, PlayStation, or a camera while using this computer as a monitor. And last but not least, I want to talk a bit about the lights. I said earlier while talking about how aesthetically pleasing this laptop is, that you can set the lights to loop through different colors. But there are three zones that you cannot set to loop through different colors. These three zones are the power light, the touchpad light, and the hard drive, Wi-Fi, and caps lock lights. However, it's still super cool that you can change the color of the hard drive, Wi-Fi, and caps lock lights. And the power light can be set to be a different color while the laptop is running on battery. Also, when you're charging the computer, the power light morphs through different colors. And that's all for my Alienware 17 review.